Hello friends, this is Dr. Shashi Agarwal. I welcome you all. Today our subject is Principles of Economics and the topic is Working of Multiplier. Working of Multiplier we will understand in two videos. In this video we will understand the working of comparative static analysis. Uh, this topic is relevant for the student of Principles of Economics, Business Economics, Macroeconomics. If you find my video useful, please do like it, share it, and also subscribe my channel, Shashi Agarwal. So this is my app, Addison app, which you could download from Google Play Store. This app is relevant for the student of commerce, economics, and management. It also provides free study material and free mock test to the students. It also provides structured courses to the uh, students of economics, commerce and management. Principles of economics, business economics and macroeconomics are also available as structured courses. First of all, before understanding the working of the multiplier, we will understand the meaning of multiplier. Uh, it is the important concept of Keynes theory of income, output and employment. The concept relate to change in income as a result of change in investment. When we make uh, some initial investment, there is an increase in income and that increase in income is many times more than the investment. When investment increase, there is also increase in income, but increase in income is not exactly the same as increase in investment, rather it is many times more than the increase in investment. Uh, and the increase in uh, investment, increase in the income depends upon the marginal propensity to consume. Investment multiplier relate to change in income to the change in investment. When the level of investment increase, then the level of income also increases, but that income is many more times than the, in, than the increase in investment. According to Keynes, investment multiplier tells us that when there is an increment of aggregate investment, income will increase by an amount which is k times the increment of investment. So this is the formula. So K is the multiplier change in income divided by change in investment. And here we could also write delta Y that is the change in income K multiplied by the change in investment. If K and change in investment are given then we could find how many time increase in income. So delta Y uh, that is change in income, delta I change in investment, K is the multiplier. So uh, the multiplier is the ratio between the change in income due to change in investment. Multiplier is the number which when multiplied by the amount of investment. So when K is multiplied by the investment, it tells us the ultimate increase in income due to increase in investment. So multiplier is equal to 1, 1 minus MPC. K is the reciprocal of the marginal propensity to save. The higher the MPC, the higher will be the multiplier and the higher the MPS, the low will be the multiplier. So these are the assumptions of the multiplier. The MPC marginal propensity to consume remains constant. Induced consumption is not due to induced investment. Here we are not, uh, uh, here we are not focusing on the effect of acceleration. Sufficient availability of consumer goods, the economy is closed. The import export, they do not have any effect on the income, output and employment. And uh, the economy is not having full employment, that is less than the full employment. Uh, and this continuous investment in the economy, no government interferes in the economy. There is surplus capacity in the consumer goods and industry and prices, they are stable. So the working of the multiplier, uh, uh, we could understand the working of the multiplier in two ways, comparative static analysis and the second is dynamic analysis. In this video, our focus will be on the comparative static analysis. Comparative static analysis simply tells us what will be the final change in income as a result of change in investment. It will simply tell us that this is the investment and it is the final result. Uh, there is so much increase in the income. So it will only tell us the conclusion. Keynes concept of multiplier is a comparative static concept. According to Samuelson, the multiplier is a two-edged sword. It will cut you or it is 
it will cut you far or against you it will amplify new investment uh, if there is if we increase the investment then there will be increase in income but if there is a decrease in investment then there will be many times decrease in income so it's a two edged sword it will cut you or it will favor you so it is the working of the comparative static multiple there is a change in investment that is denoted by delta investment change in investment this is the change in investment delta i i means investment change in investment then there is a change in income if there is a change in income uh, because income is equal to consumption plus investment so when there is a increase in income definitely there is a change in consumption and change in consumption leads to change in income because if one person spends that becomes the income of the other person change in investment causes change in income as a result there is a change in consumption consumption expenditure of one person is the income of the other so change in consumption lead to the change in income this process continue till change in consumption falls to zero so comparative static analysis the process of forward multiplier and the backward multiplier so what is forward action of the multiplier as a result of increase in initial investment there is many times more increase in ultimate income if investment increases by rupees 100 crore A multiplier is two because the value of the multiplier depends upon the marginal propensity to consume. If the marginal propensity to consume is higher, then the value of the multiplier will also be higher. If the uh, multiplier is two, then the income will increase by two times, hundred into two, that is two hundred. So if the MPC is large, so the uh, multiplying effect in the income will be more. So the forward action of multiplier could be depicted through this diagram. so here we on the ox we take the income and oy axis we take the uh, investment or we could say the expenditure so this is our aggregate supply income y is equal to consumption plus saving so this is our aggregate demand and uh, if there is a increase in aggregate demand if there is increase in the investment so it shift to upward so this is the change in the investment because earlier the investment was 10 now the investment increases to 20 increase in uh, delta investment is equal to 10 so income is 10 now the income a total income is 30 so there is an increase of income of 20 because the value of the mpc is 2 so this is the explanation ad curve intersect at e bindu and ad1 intersect at e1 equilibrium level of income is oy that is the 10 crore if the investment in is increased by 10 crore then account of increase in investment uh, uh, because there is change in investment that is 10 crore 10 to it becomes 20 ad curve shift upward to ad1 now the equilibrium is at point e1 here the as the multiplier is 2 so the equilibrium output will be oy1 30 crore there will be change in income 20 crore as we increase the income as we increase the investment 10 crore so the income will increase as the multiplier is 2 so the in, there will be increase in income 2 into 10 that is equal to 20 so this is the forward action of the multiplier when we increase uh, the investment the income also increases or that increases many time more than the investment so this is the comparative static analysis of the backward action of the multiplier uh, here we backward action of the multiplier due to decrease in the investment income will also decrease and that is many times more by the value of the multiplier so here the multiplier value is 
So on the OX, we take the income and on the OY axis, we take expenditure. So this is the aggregate demand. And this is the point of equilibrium. Our income is 30. Now there is a decrease in investment that is by 10 crore. So the aggregate demand comes shift to this level down. Now the equilibrium level is this. So income is reduced to 10 from 30 to 10. So this is the explanation. AD curve intersect at aggregate supply at E point. Equilibrium level of income is OY that is 30 crore. If investment is decreased by 10 crore, then the account of decrease in investment demand curve will shift to AD1. So the equilibrium point is E1. So multiplier is 2. So the equilibrium output will be OY1 10 crore. Here we see uh, if we have de we have decreased the investment by 10 crore, the multiplier is 2. So there is a decrease in income. That is 2 into 10, that is 20 crore. So this is the backward action of the multiplier. Due to forward action of the multiplier, when investment increases, income also increases, but that increases many times more. That depends upon the uh, that depends upon the multiplier. Backward action of the multiplier due to decreasing investment income, the income will decrease several times more by the value of the multiplier. So this is the limitation of the comparative static analysis. It is criticized as a static concept of Keynesian theory because it simply tells us how many times more increase in income will be there as a result of given increase in investment. It gives us the final results. This concept does not reveal how and what with time lag this increase in income will take place. It also fails to explain the conditions and time lag. Time lag is the uh, gap. Like our expenses, our consumption expenditure depends upon the previous level of income. If we make investment in T period, the result of increase in income will take place at one period. The comparative static analysis does not throw light on this thing. 